Let's go to set together today. This is day two of two for a short film I'm doing with Brave Maker. Yesterday was a very long day. I was there for 12 hours and then today I'm stuck in very slow moving traffic to get to set. Um, so I wanted to bring you along with me so you could see what the set is like. Hold on. Before we go to set, I want to tell you how I book this job because if you're an actor, I'm sure you're wondering how to book a job like this. I'm going to tell you exactly how I booked it. I'm going to make a very long story short. I have talked about how I booked this particular job in a video last year because this was actually filmed November 2023. But the reason why I am telling you right now in October 2024 is because you can go watch this in person. The premiere is going to be October 26th in Redwood City, California at a Halloween party. So two for one, you get to watch a, sh a short film that's premiering and you get to go to a Halloween party. This whole filmmaking friendship with Tony Gapistone began at a Bay Area film mixer in like 2018 or 19. So it's been many years that we've known about each other and I've been trying to work with him, but for some reason, just nothing ever came up. I finally went to his film festival in 2023, checked it out and I was like, wait, this is incredible. If you don't know who Brave Maker is, you need to go check them out, especially if you are a creative in California in general, because they have events in the Bay Area and in LA. The particular moment that helped me book this was that I went to yet another Bay Area film mixer in October 2023, and we were just chatting about what's next, whatever, and he was sharing with us that his next project was going to be this very intricate short film that he's been wanting to make for a long time, but the funding just hasn't been there, so finally he... Um, was able to afford to make it by having all of the actors pay for their own special effects makeup. And immediately I was like, ding, because if there's something that can help you shortcut to booking things is money. Mm -hmm. If you have money, you can definitely be like, hey, I if I'm the executive producer, will you give me a role or will you give me a few lines or can I be background? Like money will definitely get you to be able to be on camera. So as well as like a good personality, you know, you can't just throw money at people and be like, make me the star. That's not going to happen. But in this particular moment, I heard the actors are paying for their own makeup and i thought oh my gosh that's something that i'm willing to do specifically with this creative because i trust him i trust his vision i i love the work that he's done so far so i was like hey tony how much is each actor paying for their special effects and uh are you looking for any more actors long story short he sent me the script and he said this is how much money you would have to pay for the makeup for this character and let me know if you want to do it I read the script and I was like, yes, I will pay for that. And this seems like a really fun project. Let's do it. I didn't even have to audition for this one because he's seen my work in the past and two, because I was volunteering um, to pay for my own makeup for this specific role. So this is super unique. And yes, I have permission from Tony to share this um, because sometimes that's really how it is, especially if you want to make a ton of films, um, a lot of projects, and you don't necessarily have all of the fun. Sometimes it's you know, cashing in favors of people who already have their own equipment. Sometimes it's like asking your special effect makeup friends if they would do it for their minimum rate. And sometimes it's asking the actors if they're willing to pay for their own, like bring their own wardrobe or pay for their own makeup, which is what happened this time. So let's go see the process of making Creature Comforter, the short film by Brave Maker. I also did bring my own wardrobe and packed my makeup just in case I had an emergency and I stopped to print out my script again just in case it didn't already print it. Once I got to set, I was sent to the makeup chair because I am playing a zombie named Chloe and it turned out that I had actually already met a lot of these amazing makeup artists. I had so much fun in this chair and the artists on this film are incredible. I will link everybody in the description just in case you need special effects makeup artists or just any other cast and crew. After my makeup I went to go get my wardrobe approved, got my props, and then we had a safety meeting before filming. Sacrificing your loved ones are sacrificing, your pocketbooks are sacrificing, and it really means a lot. Brave Maker is a nonprofit. Our value comes from people saying, I'll, I'll, I'll volunteer, I'll work at a low rate, I'll bring my own wardrobe, I'll pay for my own makeup. Thank you for doing that. It is honestly incredible. I, I get a, a lot of excitement thinking that true collaborators will rise up. Come on, we made eight short films this year. Eight! Well, I always like when we have time on set and we don't have a ton, but do you see anybody else doing something amazing that you want to encourage somebody else? I'm like, hey, I want to call out so-and-so because they're amazing at their job or I saw them doing this. Let's have a couple quick affirmations for people on casting crew from yesterday. 
I think anybody who had issues people were really polite, and that can go a long way when yeah. actors are in a third state of energy. Yeah, the makeup job you guys are doing is a batch of awesome cook, like amazing, incredible. So truly, thank you. Shout out to Natalie for the set designs. Woo! Yeah. This is my first time with such an illustrious makeup department. Yes! So yes. The department and the costume. Oh. I really appreciate the time that Tony often takes to make sure that everybody is taken care of and having a good time on set and coming into the day with a positive attitude wanting to uplift each other because it's no fun when you have a bunch of stressed out people um, you know just wanting to get it done no matter what so on this set we had people from no experience like interns people that maybe have been on set one or two times to people who have worked on a worn winning projects and it's just such an amazing place to learn for everybody when it's a positive environment. We got to filming a few scenes and then after lunch, I had to go back to the makeup chair to get my teeth stains touched up. Oh, that's <laughs> nasty. <laughs> Because the makeup was so elaborate, we had five different makeup artists throughout the day. Actors were trickling in to the makeup chair because for me, for example, I think I was in the chair like one and a half ish hours to get my makeup done. But there were people who it was even more elaborate. Tony wrote, directed and starred in this film. And as you can see, we had a lot of fun. I cannot wait to see the final product. Yes, yes. Amazing. Amazing. Let's do it. I'm gonna take like three more minutes for oh, putting on her nails. Okay, cool. Thank you, Tony. Okay. Okay. Have we got a moment? Swallow. Roll sound. Oh. Roll camera. Thank you. Speed. Marker. Action! Jeff, one day you'll need to stop! Uh, this? Yeah. Let's try Let's do one like that. Jeez, let's give it a roll. I love this too much. Too much. Quick reverse. There we go. Your agenda posted. To end the day, we did a poster photo shoot. Perfect. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I'm done for the day, so I went to the makeup chair to have my makeup taken off. Yeah, Thank you so much. Thank you. Hot, you. Nice warm shower. We'll yeah. get it all. No, no, no. Dog gonna help with you if he's just. Oh. Um, How do they do that? Let me try and soak it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really do that for a while. Uh, yes. Anybody see <laughs> One <you>? half clean. <laughs> this would be interesting. Oh. Your teeth. <laughs> You can see this short film at the Brave Maker Halloween party. And last year I attended and dressed up as a Thaki's fairy godmother. If you know those delicious, crispy, crunchy, spicy chips that are definitely not good for you, your mouth is also watering. <laughs> this year, though, if you come, you're going to be able to watch this premiere. You're going to go to a Halloween party. And it's also a great way to mingle with other creatives in the Bay Area, in California in general. And I will put a link to the tickets in the pinned comment. And please let me know if you end up going. It's going to be so much fun.